Hi, this is Todd Patilla speaking, and this tutorial will cover how to map bone thickness on the surface of your anatomical models using the Mimics Innovation Suite. So by mapping bone thickness on your anatomical models, it'll allow you to create models that are much more rich in information, increasing the eventual utility of the model by your end user. And if you have access to the latest multicolor 3D printing technologies, it's also an excellent way to take advantage of the color that's available with these technologies. So with this tutorial, we'll start from a CT scan and go through the workflow necessary to create a anatomical model with bone thickness mapped on the surface like you see in the picture on this slide here. So I'm going to start in Mimics. As you can see, I have the DICOM data set already loaded into Mimics. And the first step that we're going to apply in Mimics is to simply segment the image. And so we're going to use a thresholding method just to segment all of the bone that's present in the image. I'll immediately take this mask and relabel it appropriately skull. And from here I will calculate a part. So we're going to convert the segmented voxels uh, of the imaging data set into a 3D mesh file which is a 3D printable format. Um, again I'm going to appropriately um, identify this 3D model as bone, which will change the color for us, coloring it more appropriately. And so those are a couple simple steps going from the images to a segmented bone model. Now let's take a look at how we can apply the bone thickness and map that to the surface. So from here I'm going to go to the file menu, choose export 3Matic, and we're going to launch this skull model in the 3Matic software. So in 3Matic, the first step that I'll apply, just to reduce the field of view, um, again, it has advantages of saving time and material on the printer as well. Let's remove the excess material, focusing just on the hemisphere where we have the large defect in the skull. So under the Finish menu, I'm going to use the Trim tool and just isolate the hemisphere uh, on the right side, the patient's right side of the skull, um, and excluding the excess anatomical data that isn't required for this use case. So you can see after I've cut the part, now let's take a look at how we apply the wall thickness. So under the Analyze menu, I'm going to choose the Wall Thickness button. I'm going to apply the thickness analysis, and we'll see the heat map or the color map projecting colors represented by the thickness of the bone in that region. So now in order to convert this to 3D printable surface colors, I'm going to use the segment segmentation button under the Analyze menu. And in this case, I can choose a number of different ways to uh, convert the, the thickness into segmented regions. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use, let's use eight equal bands. I will apply this, and so it's going to take that surface and separate it into eight different colors, uh, each representing a certain thickness on the bone. So you can see the, the thicknesses that are mapped to the surface, and now it's as simple as exporting this file to your 3D printer. And so there's several multicolor 3D printer formats available in Mimix and 3Matic. Uh, 3MF, for example, or OBJ are very popular. It'd be as simple as exporting this as 3MF. and uh, 3D printing it. So that's what the workflow looks like going from a CT scan, segmenting the anatomy, mapping wall thickness, and exporting for 3D printing. Thank you for your attention.